Hello, how you doing? Have you heard the term vertical agents? And you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is. Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I will quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. So what are vertical agents? They are agents or agentic systems that are specialized for a specific domain or industry. Unlike general purpose agents, which aim to handle a broad range of tasks, vertical agents focus deeply on one vertical, such as healthcare, legal, finance, or manufacturing. Now, there's a sense in the industry that vertical agents will disrupt and eventually replace today's SaaS or software as service companies. So what's driving this sentiment? Well, these emerging vertical agents are designed to replace the need for traditional SaaS user interfaces. Vertical agents will actually take on the work for users autonomously or through natural language interaction rather than requiring users to navigate web-based menus, dashboards, and forms. Let me give you a little more detail on the nature of these vertical agents. As I mentioned earlier, they will have a domain specialization. From the start, they will be trained and fine-tuned on domain-specific data, language, and workflows. Vertical agents will have high accuracy. So why is this? Well, given that they will operate within a limited domain, they can provide more precise and reliable outputs. They will also have deep integrations into existing domain systems. Vertical agents will include integrations with domain relevant tools or APIs, such as electronic health records in healthcare or CRMs within a sales organization. And finally, they will be knowledgeable about the respective industry compliance and regulation. They will be built with domain specific regulations in mind such as HIPAA for healthcare or GLBA in the financial industry. So what are some examples of vertical agents? Well, in the legal domain, imagine a legal assistant that drafts contracts or summarizes legal documents. In healthcare, imagine a medical co-pilot that helps doctors interpret patient symptoms and suggests diagnosis. In customer service, imagine a customer service chatbot trained specifically for a telecom company's proprietary support processes. So earlier I hinted that many believe that traditional SaaS companies will be replaced by AI native, vertically oriented, agentic startups over the next five to 10 years. So why is this? Well, agentic systems are outcome oriented. I alluded to this a little bit earlier, but in traditional SaaS workflows, a user logs in, clicks buttons, fills in forms, and clicks their way through a cumbersome workflow. With a vertical agentic system, a user interaction will begin with the user asking the agent what it wants it to do, and the agent will then go do that for the user. When it comes to getting user adoption, SaaS systems come with a learning curve and a training transition. Alternatively, with vertical agentic systems, getting up to speed offers zero friction. Users will simply interact in natural language and let the agent handle the complexity. Regarding integrations with backend systems, in SaaS architectures, front ends call APIs, which are integrated with backend logic and databases. Vertical agents are able to use these same existing APIs behind the scenes, minimizing the need for user interfaces altogether. Finally, venture capitalists love to invest when paradigm shifts emerge. If the user interface era of SaaS is ending, it opens a new frontier and new opportunities to disrupt the SaaS incumbents. Today, AI native venture capitalists are betting that SaaS will be disrupted and replaced by vertical AI agents. Okay, so in summary, vertical agents are highly fine-tuned for specific industry verticals such as healthcare, legal, finance, or manufacturing. Vertical agents could display SaaS incumbents that are slow to adopt this new AI agentic technology. What I can tell you for sure is this, in the next five to 10 years, we will all see who ends up as the winners and losers of this technical transition. Let me know what you think of vertical agents. Do you see yourself building a vertical agent in your future? Do you see yourself launching a new vertical agentic startup aimed at disrupting a SaaS incumbent? 
If so, let me know in the comments below. I want to hear about it. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other videos in this playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation in the cloud and machine learning and AI, but don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, but get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about it. And with that, have a great day, thanks.